they're really not there for support. This thing is pretty solid, by the way. I'm not gonna like punch it and it's it would pretty much break off, but it's solid enough that it's going to handle a driving situation, which we'll find out later in the video on how all of this build holds up, which I know it's gonna hold up really well because, well, I built it. Okay, everybody, we are gonna get back to the video in just a minute here, but I want to share a product with you uh, that this video is sponsored by Bio Optimizers. It is a product that I just received, and honestly, I am super excited to start with it. But let me talk to you guys a little bit about it. Um, first and foremost, you can go to their website, and you can actually use the code Jared10 to get 10% off for yourself on the Magnesium Breakthrough, which is what I am really excited to take. But this is like their starter pack. Um, it comes with a bunch of different things like uh, the magnesium product like I'm talking about. Again, I'm super excited to take this, mostly because I have been really stressed out with the van build, uh, moving to a new city, uh, opening up or starting up my shop. Um, I'm getting a puppy, so I have had a loss of sleep. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I've had like circle under my eyes in the last few videos. Something like this, which is like a stress reliever, as well as, you know, helping me with sleep. This is something that I am super excited to start taking. You can go and check them out at biooptimizers.com. Like I said, there is going to be a link in the description. There will be a link in the pinned comment as well. I am trying to take my health very seriously starting in 2022. I have always took it seriously, but I really need to buckle down i'm getting older day by day here and i want to keep my energies up every single video for everybody so i know that i'm going to be using bio optimizers in the future and i hope you do too if you want to you can also take it at the same time as me i literally just started and i will be doing a follow-up with this product in the couple months to come so stay tuned for that uh, stay tuned how this magnesium breakthrough product works as well as the rest of everything else and also track along with my health because that is the most important thing to me uh, is my health and obviously yours as well. So buyoptimizers.com, check out that link below and let's get healthy together. All right, guys, we're going to start this vlog off in a really cool situation because that's what I do. What up, what up? I'm here with Simon, uh, the owner and operator of Van Made Gear. Uh, that's where actually I'm picking up my uh, window coverings and front cab coverings uh, from Van Made Gear from Simon right now. But I wanted to show we're in his van right now, his uh, midroof transit. Yep, midroof transit. And he's actually setting up a partition apparently right behind us. But I wanted to show this product off real quick. Look at this. I asked him if they were making a coverings for the Arctic turn windows yeah. because you're like these new windows companies have been just popping out of everywhere man there's been a lot of different new window companies trying to keep up with the demand so this is their new this is prototype dude right yeah this is this is prototype like four or something like that but we finally got this window down this is the arctic turn um at 300 by 700 i believe yeah it's a window that pops open and has it That's comes so it actually cool. comes with its own uh screen and mosquito net system right it adds probably like an inch and a half to two inches of thickness and when you have a flare space system to pop that out that's like prime real estate that you would lose exactly uh, back into the window frame so so you can take that off the frame off the arctic turn frame yeah this this is this is about down well i meant like the their treatment yeah you could take that off oh cool you can take that off and then just add yours yep okay and then this one Zip it up and then you've got your mosquito net uh, and you can close it or open it partially. Nice. You were telling me that this is prototype 4. Is this on market yet or maybe when this video comes out this weekend? Yeah, maybe by then. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be now. It's, it's going to be pretty soon and then we're going to be um, modifying this uh, to fit different sized windows that either Arctic Turn makes or there's a lot of other companies that are making like the Dometic uh, windows that are similar where you the awning style window where you pop out uh, it yeah. will work for all those you just put up a partition over here oh yeah you this, were excited this is about this product that we're going to be launching soon this is a Ford Transit uh, meeting roof like you mentioned earlier and uh, there I don't think there has been any other uh, companies that make a partition for it 
all it requires is a shelf. We have the RB Components shelf here. And yeah, there's a couple different shelf companies out there. So you, you work with any shelf? Uh, this one is just measured for the height of that shelf. Okay. Like, as long as there's a lip here for us to stick the partition on, that's all that's needed. Oh, let me, we're, we're outside. This one, unlike our sprinter ones, this one rolls up and it's got this cool fid lock system. Oh, that's really nifty, and dude. It's just a magnetic clip that's adjustable. Um, mode one. Mode so, one. <laughs> first minute. Does it attach to the floor at all? It doesn't attach to the floor. It will attach to the pillar. So okay. This prototype does not attach to the pillar yet. But, oh, you know what? In this prototype, we're missing the, <laughs> the strap so far, but hold that. And... Dude, how many prototypes did you go, for on, go through on this one? This one's actually the first prototype. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's almost. It's a work there. in progress? It's a work in progress. We're, I think we're actively making the, the second one in the shop right now. But we're super excited about the fid lock system. If this one were to be up uh, with, with this tie on it. What'd you call it? The, the, the it's, it's called a fid lock system. Basically lock? it's a magnetic clip. Okay. And watch this. If you want it down, you just drop Oh, that. that's cool. That wasn't in the way. <laughs> So it's just a quick release. And it's blackout. Like, that's why you have these flaps right here. This is a really cool idea, by the way. Yeah, blackout and, and insulated. Of course. Because that front area, I call it the the, the greenhouse, basically. It's, it oh, lets man. in a lot of either cold or hot in the, in the summer or winter, depending on the season. All right, I'm going to go back inside with him, and we're going to grab my covers. And I'll show them on my van because I did not bring my van with me. Uh, this is yours, though. I like this a lot, by the way. Yeah. This is this is uh, Alpine Van Works actually uh, built this for us. Uh, I think this is their first transit medium roof build. Um, so it just they basically use this to prototype the the wall panel kit. And well, you guys out, do enough business. <laughs> yeah, you guys do enough business together. So yeah. absolutely, I love these flares, by the way, on the transits. Uh, have you taken this out yourself? I have. We've taken this two shows, um, a few shows last year, uh, and we plan to take this out again all, all season long. All right, pal. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. I am back at the shop now, and actually it's been, I think, a day. Yeah, I think I was at Van Made Gear yesterday. And then I got a lot of work done on the van. Figured I'd update you guys in the middle of the week, and then we we're going to finish off this vlog actually visiting another uh, van life friend, Jason from Off Grid Solutions, uh, he's going to install a kill switch into the van. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about what's going on here in the van now. A lot has happened, I believe, since my video, my last video. Let me show you the, the, the floating wall. I told everybody that I was going to update everybody on that floating wall, or the floating partition, I should say. Let me show you the time lapse of that and then explain really my process with everything there right now. Partition, by the way, I have just the work light on. I don't have the power on inside the van. So the time-lapse that you saw was actually only like the setup portion of it. I don't know if I forgot to put the time-lapse on or if I just like didn't want to time-lapse me messing up, but I did not record me actually installing it. And this was a this was an idea that I had a little while ago of because everybody does this little partition, like, or I shouldn't say everybody, a lot of people do this partition. It's just an eye-catching thingamajiggy to uh, deter you on the two different spaces, right? Uh, this is the bedroom space. This is going to be where the mattress is. And then, you know, uh, this is living space where I'm, I'm kneeling in now. This slight little thing here, tell your mind that there's two separate spaces. Uh, you know, in school, we talked about open floor plan, open, you know, open floor plan concepts and blah, 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 and all that stuff. The other ways you can do that, uh, that you'll see in homes a lot are like, different levels of floor or also in ceiling. And then uh, things like this, like partitions, slight partitions, half walls. So there's a lot of different ways in an open floor plan to create separation. And this is just one. Now, like I said, a lot of van lifers have done similar things like this, but none of them, 
I, I don't think I've seen anyone do it without something holding these all up on this side. Now, I use an acrylic rod, which is right here. It's a little plastic rod, and I'll get the camera up close to it right there. You guys can see that it is just a rod. Now, I had to use individual pieces on every single one. To be honest with you, I actually didn't need the rod on how I am going to explain it on the back end, but uh, the rod kept each one kind of all on the same plane. They're really not there for support. This thing is pretty solid, by the way. I'm not gonna like punch it and it's it would pretty much break off, but uh, it's, it's solid enough that it's going to handle a driving situation, which we'll find out later in the video on how all of this build holds up, which I know it's gonna hold up really well because, well, I built it. I Craig jigged each single one individually. Uh, and I just, I put my Craig jig at the angle that it was and then I just screwed the Craig jig or the, the pocket hole screw into, I knew there was a board back here. So there is a two by two board that I screwed into. So there was just a lot of uh, meat to catch on to. That's pretty much it. There wasn't, there wasn't much to it. Um, I, I'll show you guys a test piece that I used. Uh, it's just a common board. I used, I think the fourth one up. And that's just an image I took off my phone. I took a picture with my phone and just, just like, I was kind of utterly surprised that my idea worked. Like I said, there've been other van lifers that have had this partition, but usually they have like another board here to connect it all. This is kind of just a different concept of that, you know, idea. I wanted like a, the, the, the idea of it floating, you know, like how I had my floating ceiling. This is like a floating partition. I did get the in countertops installed right now. I just have cardboard over it for protection. There is no sink. <laughs> there is a sink, but it's not in right now because I had everything clamped down earlier and I just wanted to make sure that it was all going to, uh, you know, be legit. I said in another video, they're rich light, uh, hooked up by my boy Dustin over at Overland Van Project, but rich light, um, is a great, great, uh, you know, recyclable product. It's a compressed paper. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I did all the fronts of the cabinetry. Uh, this was a bear of a task. This is the exact look I was going for. As you can see in the van, it's starting to come together exactly how I wanted it to. I wanted the maple look on the up the, the upper portion, the natural wood look, the maple look. The grain of this wood is just super cool. And I've only put one coat of Osmo on there. Natural wood, maple kind of on the upper section of the van with black accents. And then in the lower section, I wanted the, the black to come through as the primary color and then the the natural wood in the end grain here as the subtle look so it's kind of an opposite contrast you know to your eye i guess this end grain look is a very popular uh european design very like modern uh so it's a modern european design or scandinavian uh and then i guess this is more of a like the slatted look is like a Japanese tea house look. These are all inset cabinetry. If anybody has done inset or insert, it's a very difficult task uh, because you have to be exact. And you have pretty much like, like on all my sides, I have like a 16th of an inch on all sides. And then I cut in my own handles. I, if I had a CNC machine, I probably would have used it. However, what's nice about cutting in your own is first of all, everything's flush. As you can see here on my cabinetry, everything is flush. There's nothing to catch my hand on or my clothes on in regards to pole handles or anything like that. Everything is uh, on one plane while one surface. Going back to the CNC machine, if I had a CNC, then guess what? This would not be handcrafted. So everybody that says that they, if it's like a, like a van builder and they say it's handcrafted, make sure to see if they have a CNC machine making all the cuts. Nothing wrong with a CNC machine. I think they're awesome to have a CNC machine for multiple parts. It's great for a business. Obviously it makes sense. I'm not going to spend, you know, 20 grand on a CNC machine just so I can get, you know, beautiful fronts. I cut everything with a jigsaw and then I went back and just sanded the crap out of every single one. I got this idea actually from when I did the show Gutted. Uh, the company that we use for their cabinetry is a similar style. I, they didn't have the end grain exposed like I did or I, I did here. Um, and I wanted to kind of just 
do a better version of that. But the idea did come from there. Uh, the idea of the slatted look, I mean, so many people have done that. Uh, not any particular van lifer has done it. Uh, but I guess like Quinn from Ever Changing Horizon, I originally got the idea maybe from him. But I mean, again, this slatted look has been out there for a long time. And then also another, actually, I want to shout out another van lifer that I did see this years ago. I believe it's a European builder and it's on Instagram. It's this moving house. So as you guys can see, everything, you know. Everything is in working order. Yay! Finish off this video going over to Jason's over at Off Grid Solutions. I am at Off Grid Solutions right now. Jason is a, a wire genius. I'm trying to give him praise and he's not even around me. He's doing work. But uh, when I got the van back, one of, my, one of my first phone calls was to Jason because he comes from the audio would you say the audio, like, what was your, like, that was your first job yeah. that, way back when? Well, I spent, like, 16 years in car audio. Car audio, thank yeah. you. That's what, I was, like, trying to find the words. So essentially, you can 16 call it 16 years? Electrician. Yeah, since I was 18 years old. Jeez, man. That's when I started, and then uh, worked a long time doing that before I moved into the van industry. And then I've been doing pretty much nothing but vans for the last seven years. You worked for a van building company doing all of their electrical, too for yeah, like a couple of years before you started your own thing, right? There was a few of us there. We were doing a lot of vans, so I, I learned a ton and then met up with actually Miles and learned a ton more from him and kind of just keep progressing more to try to mix that like commercial mm. commercial power with RVs instead of just using RV components. For me, what he's doing is because he's really well known or well versed in the car audio world, I asked him, hey, do you know how to wire up a kill switch? And he laughed. <laughs> He's like, of course I do. I got uh, you, I got you. And then, dude, you, like, gave me, like, you, like, talked about how uh, you can, you could literally make anything in the in the van a kill switch. I'm just, I was asking how many levels of encryption you need, you know? Like, how many things do you want to do to start this van? <laughs> I just, I just want one, although you were about to put two in. I was going to do two. One is fine. I still don't think Do you think want to do two? I don't, no one's going to, I mean. Uh, we hope nobody does it. They, they'd have to know exactly what was going on. It'd be an inside job at that point. It, it, it really, the only there's only like a couple people that would actually know how to start it. If you have an older van, I highly recommend doing a kill switch in a van. Right. Any any van that can be started without like a chipped key. Yeah. You know, if it yeah. doesn't have a chipped key, that kind of is your first level of encryption, if you will. Right. right it makes right. it so people can't just jump in and steal it. But if you don't have that chip, then you know having having some line of defense in there because people are just right into vehicles left and right right now so especially right now especially right now so Seems we're not going to gonna show you extreme details on <laughs> my kill switch because it just ain't happening but <laughs> i will show you what jason's up to can i show the shop a little bit sure we got what are you doing you're recording stuff too like what's going on marissa <laughs> <laughs> your van's out here yeah, we're gonna get a tour eventually. Eventually, someday. Eventually someday maybe, yeah. yeah, right. We'll <laughs> see. Is, is it three years? Has has it been three years? No, it's not been three years. I think it's only been two. I said two. Two. It's actually how they met. Anthony is installing a power system right now, or they just uh, they just loaded it in. Anthony's. Did you build this whole thing? John built this system. Oh, John built the system. John built this one. I pre-wired. And this is John. Been working on this all day. Not all day, but I'm modifying a Terra Wagon mudguard kit for the uh, wheel wells clear that big to, old piece to clear an aluminous bumper that is not factory, and these are made for factory bumpers. That is that is not easy work. It's a lot of what he was just grinding, a lot of doing stuff, and. That's Banshee. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Banshee's a cutie. Jason's already already done with the wiring of the switch, apparently. We're ready to install. <laughs> where, I don't I even want to know. I can't tell you where it goes exactly, I don't know. but it goes... Well, I have to know where the somewhere. switch is, right. Actually, he was the one that wired up in my in my second van. Uh, Jason was the one that wired up the, uh, the is it the two-way or the three-way toggle for the- um, The ball valve? The ball valve. Yeah, we did two two of these switches, what we did, same thing. 
Same thing we use now. Right, and open and a close. Open and a close, yep. Yeah, and he ripped apart my brand new dashboard on my Sprinter, and I was freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> And he's like, dude, it's okay, we got this. A little like, anxiety from Jared on that one. A little, a lot. So. We got it dialed in for him and everything was fine. I don't know, what do you do here at the shop? Like, what is, because you don't do like full on, well, you do full on van builds, but so not often. Essentially, we're building things that you can go into like an adventure wagon kit that turns it into a full van build. Okay. So, if we do any kind of a full van build, it starts with an adventure wagon kit, and then we put our power system in it, we figure out what we're doing on the roof of the solar panel, and then figure out, you know, what bed and we offer a galley. We have a couple different galley choices that we're working on finalizing a, a bigger one. So we have kind of a small, medium and large galley and we're just working towards things that bolt into the adventure wagon kit. So they have a great platform. It's strong. It's, I don't have to worry about things falling off the wall. So we're continuing down that road with building things that work with their kit. Stay tuned. I got a tour coming up, I believe of your spec van. And, we, and that one, we changed a couple things on it. We're about Frankie. Ready to, Frank or Frankie? Frank the Tank. Frank yep. the Tank. Frankie, whatever you want to call it. We took it, we've had it for sale for a while. There's a couple things we wanted to change. We saw the van market doing crazy things. We're like, we're going to hold on to it for a little bit. And I think we're getting ready to relist it on Van Life Trader and then let it go to a new home. Just hit them up at Off Grid Solutions PDX. It's a cool van. It is a cool so. van. Sure. Later. At the shop. Bye. Yeah. It's late Saturday night. I try to release these on Sunday. And honestly, uh, I just wanted to end the video. That's it. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty far along and I think I'll have one more build vlog left. Get back to making awesome content. <laughs> sure. I'll do a details video uh, later on in February, but I'm going to be on Puppy Patrol for the month of February, taking care of that, uh, my little monster. My next build video or my next build vlog will be pretty much showing you guys the rest of everything and how I did the bed frame and I framed out the canvas art over there and um, pretty much just finishing touches on everything. So I'll see you guys next time. Later!